Welcome to day four of Vacation Bible School. In our lesson today, Jesus heals a blind man who had been blind since birth. The only way this man could understand the world was to use his other senses. But in our lesson today, Jesus proves he is God's son by making this man see again, something that only God can do. In our lesson today, Jesus calls himself the light of the world. So let's go to the Bible and we'll find out just what it means that Jesus is our light. So in our lesson today, Jesus and his friends, his disciples, were walking down the road. And all of a sudden they hear a man yelling for help. He needed help. And they looked over and they saw this beggar man sitting beside the road. But something was wrong. As they got closer, they realized that something was wrong with his eyes. You see, this poor man's eyes had never worked. He had never seen the sunrise or the green grass or the blue sky. He could hear the birds singing, but he couldn't see their beautiful collars or watch them fly, fly over top of him, or they couldn't, he couldn't see the beautiful flowers, or you know, he could smell the flowers, but he couldn't see them. He was blind from birth. He could hear the voices of people around him, of his mom and dad and his family, but he couldn't see their faces. Now, being able to see meant this man, that he couldn't see meant this man could not work. And that means he couldn't make money to provide for himself. Um, so every day he would go and he would sit along this wall and he would beg for money, hoping somebody would give him some change or something so that he could provide for himself. Jesus used this moment that he found this blind man to teach his disciples. In John chapter 9, verse 5, it says, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And that's Jesus speaking. So what does this mean? Jesus called himself the light of the world. Now, did Jesus mean that he was an actual candle or anything like that? No. Jesus said he is the light. So let's think about that for the moment. What does light do? What, when you turn on the light, you're able to see. You're able to find things. Things that have been hidden by the darkness are now able to be seen in the light. So Jesus said he is the light. And he helps us to see. That means Jesus helps us understand. He helps us understand who we are and who he is. Jesus wanted to show everyone the truth of who he really, who he really is. He wanted them to understand. With that, Jesus did something very unusual. He used this, this whole situation to teach. And he took the dirt on the ground and he spat on the, on the ground and he made some mud. He made some dirt there, made it mud, and he wiped it onto the blind man's eyes. And after he did that, he told the man to go wash his eyes off in the pool of Siloam, and the man obeyed. So when the man washed the mud off of his eyes, he could see. For the very first time in his life, he could see the birds, the sky, the sun, the trees, the grass, and he could see the faces of his friends and his parents for the very first time ever. And people began to talk. They began to, to ask each other, wait, is this the man that's been sitting along the road blind all these years? That's not him, is it? But it looks like him. But he can see now? They were all so confused. Well, they asked him, how did you get your sight back? And the man said, a man named Jesus made mud, put on my eyes, and now I can see. And the crowd couldn't believe it. They took the beggar man to the religious leaders, the Pharisees. And I know I would be very happy for this man, you know, and you would too if he could see. Well, it was wonderful news, but that's not how the Pharisees reacted. They argued, this man, Jesus, can't be from God. Others pointed out, but how, how could, you know, if he's not from God, how could he have done this miracle? So they went back and forth, arguing back and forth. And so finally they asked the beggar, how, how did you get your sight back? 
And of course he said, again, Jesus, Jesus did this. But the Pharisees did not like the answer. So to punish the man, to punish the beggar, they told him that he could no longer go to the synagogue with everyone else. A synagogue was a place where, you know, you go to church and, and where people gathered together to worship God. Jesus heard how the Pharisees had, Pharisees had questioned this beggar man and what they had done to him. And Jesus went to find the man. And when he found the beggar, Jesus asked him a simple question. In John chapter 9, verse 35, it says, And Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he found him, he said unto him, Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Jesus asked him that question. Who is he so I may believe in him? The man asked. I can just imagine Jesus' look of love and joy when he told him, It's me. You are looking at him and talking to him right now. I believe, the man exclaimed, and he worshiped Jesus. The man understood that he needed Jesus as his Savior. So Jesus is the light of the world. And when we believe in Jesus, it's like our blindness is removed and we can truly know who God is. We can know what God wants us to do from God's Word, the Bible. We can say with the man in this lesson, I believe, and we can worship Jesus. So today, is Jesus the light of your world? Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Do you believe? I pray today that as you've watched these lessons this week, that you um, ask Jesus into your heart. Um, I pray that you, we always talk about the ABCs of, of being saved, that you admit that you're a sinner, that you believe in Jesus, and that you confess your sins. And as we close today, I pray that you find Jesus this week and that he will become the light in your life.